urchins by the thousand are being cracked open in Ramia's sole fish plant. Overseeing the operation are two Japanese technicians brought in from Osaka by the plant's owner. They are really trying to get uh, uh, processing for sea urchin skill. Kiyosuke Nishio and his colleague are teaching the ins and outs of processing. And there's a lot to learn if you're shipping product to a picky foreign market. Uh, most of Japanese people like uh, very light yellow, like a lemon color, lemon, and a light orange is a uh, more good root color, and dark brown and like a gray or something, so they don't, they don't eat not much. So far, so good. Yeah, Lamia has a uh, big potential, I think. The plant processes scallops for part of the year, but this new operation means for the first time in over a quarter of a century, the lights are on in winter. But there are challenges. One of them, the distance. Oh, and the shelf life for fresh sea urchin is only about 12 days. Processed urchin leaves Ramia by ferry, then it's up the Burgio Highway and across the Trans-Canada to St. John's. Then it's loaded on a plane and sent to Japanese cities like Tokyo and Osaka, where, possibly within a few days, it's served like this and considered a delicacy. Quite the difference from the reputation here in this province. We always caught it, horse eggs growing up, seeing the gauze take it and drop it and eat it. Like today, like just seeing this, I never thought I'd see it. See it just working in the plant, mm -hmm. but it, it's wonderful. And the learning curve for processing is working out as well. It's going good, actually, better than I thought. Like, it's new to us, it's the first time we ever done sea urchins, so there's a lot to learn and a lot to take in. If it all works out, there could be a lot more to take in. Just ask this sea urchin expert. We're lucky enough in the province uh, because we have lots of uh, green sea urchin. That's the only species we have here in the province, but it happens to be the uh, species that they're looking for in the Asian markets. A sentiment echoed by Ramia's plant owner. They got no tails. They will swim uh, nowhere. So uh, knowing that you got this uh, wonderful resource firmly attached to your uh, sea bottom is, uh, is, is a great comfort. And also a comfort for here in Ramia, an island of fewer than 500 people where extra employment could help stabilize a population that's been decreasing for decades. Adam Walsh, CBC News, Ramia.